Hey everybody, Tim from Ripple Rhythm here. Welcome back to my introduction to freestyle hand drumming. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for lots more videos on freestyle hand drumming techniques, rhythms, games, and lots of other fun stuff. So, are you ready to learn a new rhythm? I hope so, because it's one of the most popular rhythms on the planet. It's called the Calypso beat, or the Soca beat. It comes from Africa, but of course you're going to hear it a lot in Caribbean music, you're going to hear it in Latin American music, you're going to hear it at drum circles a lot, you're going to hear it on the radio in popular music and in dance music, because it is one of those celebration party beats that gets people's bodies moving on the dance floor. What? So, to help people remember how to play this beat, I like to remind them of this book or also a movie called Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. In this book, in this story, there are some funny little creatures called Oompa Loompas. And that is how the Calypso beat is played. Listen to the low note and the high note when I say it. Oompa Loompa, Oompa Loompa, Oompa Loompa. Say it with me. Ready? And. Oom pa loom pa oom pa loom pa oom pa loom pa oom pa loom pa. Good. So let's put it on the drums. The oom and the loom are the low note, and the pa is the high note. Let's start with the oom and the loom. Ready? Oom pa loom pa oom pa loom pa oom pa loom pa oom pa loom. So it's just that steady beat going steady with that low bass note. So let's put the pause in. Good. Did you get it? Let's try it a little bit faster. Oom pa loom pa oom pa loom pa oom pa loom pa. Here we go. You're starting to get a feel for it. So, this is the opportunity to teach you about a little thing called phrasing. Now, in freestyle drumming, like drum circle drumming, no one is telling you what to play. There's no conductor. It's up to you, which is great. And playing the same rhythm over and over again, oompa loompa, oompa loompa, it gets boring. And it's boring for you to play, and it's boring for people to listen to or to dance to. That's why there's this thing called phrasing. And what phrasing is, is a way of shaping a rhythm to make it sound more interesting, giving it some variety. So how do we do that? Let's say we have this rhythm, this calypso beat, oompa loompa. By adding one extra hit, we can make a variation on that rhythm and give ourselves something extra to play with. So in this case, it goes like this. Oompa, pa, loom, pa, oompa, pa, loom, pa, oompa, pa, loom, pa, oompa, pa, loom, pa. Just one extra high note. Let's try it. Oompa, pa, loom, pa. Here we go. And oompa, pa, loom, pa, oompa, pa, loom, pa, oompa, pa, loom, pa, oompa, pa, loom, pa. Pa. So now we have um pa loom pa and um pa pa loom pa. So now we can play with those two elements to make some phrasing, some different combinations to make the music sound more interesting. So for example, we can do um pa loom pa um pa loom pa um pa loom pa um pa pa loom pa um pa loom pa um. 
pa dum pa um pa dum pa um pa pa dum pa um pa dum pa um pa dum pa um pa dum pa um pa pa dum pa um pa dum pa um pa dum pa um pa dum pa um pa pa dum pa um 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 pa dum pa